Good morning, fellow option traders. This is Jeff, and welcome to the Daily Scan for Monday, June 9th, 2014. Well, it's going to be a quiet day from a news, scheduled news events perspective. Nothing has a red or a gold star here. Friday's announcements, I won't show them, but they were, they were, uh, kind of as expected. They were in line, I guess you could say. Unemployment uh, remained the same as the prior month overall. That uh, what I consider a relatively bogus number. And uh, some of the other announcements on Friday were in line. Some were a little bit uh, disappointing and some were a little bit um, encouraging so that's what it looks like from an announcement perspective let's take a look at what's going on across the ponds on either side of us over in Asia nice pop for the day and in Europe looking overall mostly positive so can we expect the same from the US let's take a look at the futures here looks like they might open down just a tad. Gold is up over 1255 over the weekend and oil is still hanging out there at 103.17 which is uh, kind of high I guess you might say. All right um, I do have the numbers from last week compiled and here we are uh, ended up three hundred and seventy six dollars for the week with uh, three winners and two losers that we booked. Winners were Boeing and Chevron and losers were uh, LinkedIn. First loser that we had for LinkedIn this year and Amazon and a big nice juicy winner here from Apple as we waited till towards the end of the day uh, exiting that. It was a nail biter which we can take a look at when we go through the A-plus list, but at least um, it hung in there for us. And then, you know, you can't look at anything now because of their split. It's, it's like... But anyway, <laughs> uh, that just is really messing things up. Okay, let's jump over to the A-plus list, take a look at the account. So right now we're sitting with uh, Baidu which is a um, bull put and we have a bear call on F5 networks. All right, uh, let's jump over to take a look at Apple this morning. I haven't looked at a chart yet from them. Uh, okay, they've corrected all the previous prices. That's good. We're going to have to get rid of all drawings now because um, uh, because we're not going to see a lot of them, so we're just going to get rid of them all. Okay, so delete. I have to actually click on a drawing. Delete all drawings. Okay, so now we're starting completely over with Apple. You can see the price action here. Our, um, our short strike was right down around here, I believe maybe at this 92 equivalent to this 92 <clears throat> and uh, it was a little bit of a nail biter but I got out about here at 2.30, 3 o'clock somewhere around there closed it out and uh, hung, on, hung in there on that one so now I had talked in the past about possibly dropping Apple from my A-plus list, but how could anybody in their right mind ever really do that? I can't. So we're uh, it's remaining on here. It's just too liquid to not keep it on here. So now we're waiting for a entry opportunity here with our target set for a bull put. The split is over. Let's get down to business. All right, let's take a peek at Amazon. 
and this hurt us last week. I believe that we are in a new uptrend and the uh, the 20 EMA has been up pretty consistently over the last couple of weeks so we're calling this an uptrend so we have a new target down here we're waiting for that one to come down and give us an entry I have to tell you uh, as an aside here that uh, it's, I know it's going to be one of those days when uh, before I started recording I picked up the microphone and tried to drink it I thought it was my coffee so I know it's going to be one of those days all right Boeing we're out of Boeing so that was a good pretty nice successful trade from back here we never did get an entry we're sliding our target over we're still looking for an entry down here all right I do we are in Baidu. We got in on Thursday. Uh, it had a really nice pop for us. This is a 20 delta trade. And it's working out well so far. Celgene. Still waiting for an entry on Celgene. Maybe we might be getting one this week. Chipotle. Uh, waiting for an entry on it. Um, you know, when it, when it does this and it doesn't give us any sort of an entry, this is um, banging against the ceiling here, sort of like a gas-filled balloon, uh, trying to get in on this and take advantage of it. I have to think about that. Like I have said before in the past, when you get opening moves like this, and I've said it a couple of times, you go ahead and you could just buy a call or you could do a bull put and just go ahead and enter and take your chances it's not a CSSV2 trade but it is a trade and that definitely has possibilities and the way that I would do this is with you know just flip a coin just jump in with a 50 delta and uh, take your chances. It might work out. Who knows? Costco. All right, Costco is making some very nice moves. It finally broke out of its doldrums here. Um, you know, and generally, overall, everything that I'm seeing right now is that you know everybody's pretty euphoric. Um, you know, the word is that the unemployment level is down to pre-crisis levels and, you know, I, the gravy train is here and happy days are here again and all that kind of stuff. So, you know, this may last for a little while, but always historically when everybody gets overconfident, the rug gets pulled out from underneath you. So be aware of that and be ready for it. But for right now, jump on the gravy train. So Costco may be the same thing. You know, or you might want to just jump in on a trade. And it's not, you know, using the system, but in a way here, the system is telling you that it's hot. It's definitely hot. So you might want to take advantage of it. And I would say the same thing, you know, if things reverse and head in the other direction could be the same thing. I mean, there's there is plenty of opportunities here to do a similar thing. Costco tends to make some pretty consistent moves. Sorry about that if I was making you dizzy. I was making myself dizzy. Um, but yes, that has possibilities as well. So this might be a AM trade and a PM exit if it's successful. Might try that today. CVX. Uh, we had success with this one. 
Looks like CVX is uh, going to continue its trend, so we have a target set down here for another 20 delta, which I may change into a 50 delta if the move gets a little stronger. DJX, I changed this over uh, using the actual cash one tenth index, I think that's what it is, and uh, we have a new high. So this is tradable also, although I don't really like the offerings on the options because there's only the one week weeklies. They don't have multiple week weeklies. And look at this. Take a look. Open interest. <laughs> Two? Are you kidding me? So I would not trade options on this. Possibly on regular monthly expiration. That has some possibilities because... There seems to be a fair amount there, but I don't know why there's not enough people trading this. I really don't understand. So we're just going to stay away from it. But we will use it as a reference. So that's what we're doing here is taking a look at the index. New high. Alright, Igor. Um, we got the new high here. Same thing. Uh, it's making a very powerful run. Anytime the stochastic on these stays above the 80 line, you know, for a couple of days, maybe three days, four days, it's in a power run. So this might be another one, although I'm not going to, I'm not interested in this particular one just because of volume liquidity. Let's take a look at FedEx. FedEx uh, is trying its darndest to set up and it still is in a setup. We'll have to be careful about this earnings date coming up though. We have to keep that in mind. But we have green here but we don't have confirmation. So we're still in a setup until we get this confirmation, then it will be alertable if we don't get in on the setup. I believe this is like the third day in a row. This has been in our setup column. All right, how's F, good old F5 doing? F5, we have this, uh, I'm getting a little nervous on F5 here. A little nervous. That was uh, not a very bright trade here, Mr. Guru. I think I'm going to have to exit that today. All right. Yeah, I'll be getting out of that today. Gold? <laughs> Gold. Let's see here. What do we got going? Uh, it's in a setup for a 20 delta. I don't feel real strongly about this. I don't know if there's any uh, additional downside to it. You can see it's going to pop up. It's going to open up, gap up slightly. Um, at least at the present time. So I don't think that there is going to be a real good opportunity there, but I wrote it down anyway. And Google. Um, I think it's in a new uptrend. What do you guys think? Eh, it's getting some mixed signals here. We'll leave it here um, as a setup for a bear call. I don't know. I just don't know. This one is a little bit too mixy uppy here. But, but. <clears throat> Going by the original rules in the 50 simple moving average, we are in a downtrend, but I gotta tell you, this is flat. I mean, it's obvious it's been flat for a couple days here. And the 20 EMA has been up for one, two, three weeks. I'm going to have to reverse my bias on this. This is in a uptrend. So let's, I'm going to have to slide this down here. And now we have to wait 
for a little bit of a pullback or some sort of entry opportunity. Who knows? It may take off. I don't know. It's just too... It's telling me that it is in a new uptrend, I have to say. Here we have a higher high, higher low, higher high, higher low. So, it's in an uptrend. So we have to let that one simmer for a while. Linked in. Okay. Ouchie, ouchie. I have to I'm gonna delete this. That was my uh, panic alert. That still burnt a little bit on this. It wasn't too bad. So what are we doing here? We have... Um, this is very, very unusual for LinkedIn. I mean, look at the past, historically. Look at these ranges on these days. And then we get up here and we have, geez, almost you could say, well, this is very range-bound. Incredibly range-bound for LinkedIn. So I don't know what's going on. I don't want to really do anything with LinkedIn right now. I don't even, because it's going to break one way or the other, it's going to break. That's just uh, historically what normally happens. 3M, uh, we are in a tear at 3M. So the sticky company, that's what I call them. You know, it's like scotch tape. I think I mentioned this one time before. It amazes me that the glue on scotch tape can be exposed to the air. In some cases, I've experienced for more than a year. And uh, it's still sticky. It doesn't, like, dry out. <laughs> it's, it's really kind of amazing to me. Anyway, um, I digress. Seriously, digress. This is another one that could be... Um, you know, a 50 delta trade at the open and keep your eye on it and see what it looks like at the end of the day. If you made some money, get out. All right. Let's take a look at NDX. All right. Now, this is our first uh, tradable index product here, and I'm going to be revisiting the 510 Iron Condor and I'm going to make a video about it. should be out in the next couple of days, maybe even today, I don't know. And uh, I'm going to talk about trading options on cash indexes in a taxable account. Because that's what I'm looking to do is uh, some products to trade in a taxable account that aren't going to hurt too much from a reporting basis. So I'll let you know what my research has uh, uncovered and I'm going to tell you right off the bat that I am not a tax expert and you will not take this as tax advice, anything that I say. Uh, so don't try to sue me, I guess you could say, and don't send the IRS after me. They've already been after me. So um, That'll be coming out this week with a few disclaimers related to tax. Okay, uh, NDX. We were waiting for an entry down here. We did not get one, so let's move this over. And I'm almost, almost tempted to say on these 20 deltas, if you come down and you get a 50, and I may re put my 50 line back in here, uh, that would be an entry that you could consider. But for right now, let's just keep an eye on this puppy. Netflix. How are we doing in Netflix? Another screamer here. Although, I'm not real excited about somebody. See, if you would come in here at the open, uh, Thursday would have worked out well. Friday, we might have got burnt. So there's not a lot of range on Friday, so I'm going to hold off on that one being a day trade, I guess you could say, with a 50 delta. So we're just going to wait for a normal entry on that. And how is Priceline doing? Ooh, Priceline is looking good. Looking good, Lucy. Okay, 
uh, 20 delta, 50 delta. I'm putting it down for a 50, although there's a lot of red over the last couple of days. A lot of red. Uh, yeah. A lot of momentum to the downside, too. We're actually almost to 20 here. 14, almost 15. That's pretty heavy. And also, this is a very wide cycle. One, two, almost three weeks for this. 20 delta, but um, I'm careful. I'm putting it down for 20 delta, but be careful. I just don't know which way this thing is going to go. All right, let's take a look at the Russell, another cash index on a tear. Could do a 50 delta on this too. I believe that, um, how are we looking here on the futures? Ah, just scrolled right past it. Nice. There we go. Uh, TF. Looks like it might open down a tad this morning. Okay. Well, it's not showing here right now yet. Because it doesn't really start trading until the normal trading day. Or maybe slightly before. So it may gap down a bit. So we might be heading down for our target here. But we are in a new uptrend. I'd like to wait for a full down cycle here. Before doing anything about that, let's take a look at the S&P 500 new high on Friday. Um, still waiting for it to hit our target, but as with uh, some of the other day trade 50 deltas that I was talking about, uh, this could be one, but probably not today because it looks like it's going to gap down at the open on TED. But it may, you know, move up, who knows. All right, our little friend here, TLT. Uh, it's pretty confusing looking. I tried to get in on Friday, and I was denied. So I think that that's a good thing. I took a look at this in the morning. I put an order in, and it just kept moving away. So I canceled my order. Or at least I had an order staged, as you can see here. Um, and I took a pass on it. So these are all out. Not interested in TLT at the moment. We'll have to see what it does today. I'm putting it in my setup column for a 20 delta for today just because I want to take a look at it and if we get a move up then I might jump in on it we're getting down to the end here Tesla uh, it's a little bit confusing here do we have an uptrend or do we have a downtrend staying away from it taking this marker out And Visa. Um, do we have an uptrend or a downtrend? Um, I don't know. But we're in setup mode here. If you're believing the 50 MA. And definitely not if you're looking at the 20. So what do we got going here? We have... Too much confusion. Too much confusion. I think that we have enough candidates for today, especially for our uh, 50 Delta day trades. So I think we'll have enough to keep us busy for today. So I'm taking a pass on anything with Visa. So I'm even going to get rid of the targets. We do not do a 20 delta here. That's a legitimate target. 
the one up here was not legitimate. At least not with this 50 flattening out and the 20 in an, in green all the way for, you know, over a month. So that's that. Not over a month, about a month. Okay. All right, that's it. Um, we're done with the A-plus list. Should be an interesting day in the market without any news to move things, at least not any scheduled news. We have a lot of uh, 20 deltas, and we have uh, Chipotle, Costco, and 3M as possible. 50 delta day trades. So, should keep us busy for today. All right, that's it. Thanks a heap for watching. Have a great day and happy trading.